loves him I'm and be with him. Because here's the thing. And let me be find in love out. with somebody else. My man is still in, in love, love with, with somebody. This girl. Because What's up, y'all? Welcome to Galapudic. It's your home of Therapeutic Girl Talk. Today will actually be a spoil spoiler. I can't get that word out. Spoiler alert. Okay. So if you haven't seen Jazz Man's Blues. I always want to say club. I don't know. I know. If you ain't seen Jazz Man's Blues on Netflix, then you may want to like go watch another video for a second until you've seen it. Because we're gonna give some spoilers a little bit. Okay. And if you if you watch the video or the movie, then you know you're gonna know the source of this frustration <laughs> with this topic, okay? Because today we are talking about when is enough enough like when when to bow out is that correct mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like when when is it time to actually actually leave a relationship and is there a such thing as growing apart and it's based off of miss girl and i just forgot her name leanne it's about leanne and miss boy mr boy what was this uh name? start with a b bio bio the bio bio yeah. <laughs> So Leanne and, and Bayou, up, right. <laughs> if you've seen it, you know that they started off, you know, liking innocent. each other. Mm -hmm. It was very innocent. Liking each other as kids. Um, things were happening in her home. She had to, she ended up leaving. They kind of lost communication because he was trying to commu communicate with her, but the mom was like sabotaging that. What was happening? Sabotaging that. Anyway, it was. seen that. You've never seen the notebook? Mm -hmm. Anyway, years later, they end up meeting again. And she's married now to this white man. She's a white passing woman. And um, he's still in love. in love with her as this black man. And he's basically risking it all to be with her, okay? And she's trying to risk it all to be with him, in a sense. But... If you was in a video or the movie, then you know how it turns out. Mm -hmm. He end up, he gets killed in the end. And listen, could the whole thing have been avoided if they just moved on? If they realized maybe they were, I don't know, if were they growing apart? I don't think no, that they, they were, were in growing love. apart. They were definitely in love, but you, okay, Miss Girl, you're li literally living in a white man's house. And not only that, your brother-in-law is the sheriff of the town. Mm -hmm. So to me, you're putting this man in far more risk. And it's not like you don't have a whole life of your own. Because even when he asked her, like, do you love him? She loved that man that she was with, but she was like, I don't love him like right, I love you. Yeah. That's it then. But you love him and you're married to him. And you literally put this man's life at risk. And I also somewhat put the blame on him too because he should have just let it go also. Is it easier said than done though? It is Especially easier said than done. But I think she loved her husband, but she was in love with uh, Bayou. But I feel like if you're in love like that, you Let know the go. risk that, that yeah. you're putting him at. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you want to be with this person, but you're actually being really selfish because of the danger that you're putting him in mm -hmm. and the danger that you're putting yourself in because she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And like they said, if that baby would have came out brown, they would have killed that baby. Yeah. I have no doubt that they would have killed that baby. Mm -hmm. So you are literally, because you're being, in my opinion, I feel like it was very selfish and she should have let go. You're putting so many people's lives at danger. Yeah. And he was in a position to help his mom who was struggling. Mm -hmm. And that all got cut off because he got killed. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like it was, it was, the movie made me so upset. Because I'm like, girl. Do you think also too that it was going to happen regardless or it was because of, what's his name, Willie? Because he intervened. Or do you think the same fate would have happened if the way that they were going about being together and being so diligent about it? Because again, she was planning to leave with him. Mm -hmm. So even if Willie Earl didn't say anything, I feel that that was a, her husband would have her husband would have went looking he for looked really yeah. cuz he all he knows is this is my white lady who is actually black. But this is my white lady and she got our baby. Yeah. Do you think that at some point he would have found out that she was not white? 
don't know, cause to me she looked like she looked black to me. Uh, she looked like a black lady. But what I I think yes, he could have found out somehow. Like she was saying, people know her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And eventually, I, to me, just in life in general, I think the truth is going to always find you. Yeah. No matter where you are and no matter how many years it takes, somebody going to find out something. Yeah. And even if they weren't able to get to buy you, they would have been, they would have killed her when they found out. Yeah. Like, you that I've been sleeping with this black woman that I thought, you done embarrassed me. <laughs> the way that they were in that town, you done embarrassed me for other people. Yeah. I just think it was, I think it was selfish. I think she should have let go. When she left, like, and then you came back, yes, you saw him, but, and then you come, I don't know, she just made me very mad, because I just feel like she really put his life at risk, and obviously, he ended up killed, right. so, but, I just think she should. in that same breath, as much as she was putting his life at risk, he was, he was doing also it too. That's why I said it's his fault, too. So, it's like, do y'all think that sometimes, I guess very, in a very cliche manner, do you think that love can just make you dumb? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think You've it been can. There, done that. I think it can. Mm -hmm. And that's why, in that situation, somebody had to be the one to be like, okay, that's I'm gonna let this go. Because yeah. at the end of the day, had she not shown interest in him, I don't think he would have kept trying. Mm -hmm. He would have just been like, dang, like I'm watching the love of my life. But if she wasn't giving him any, I'm coming to see you, let's go. I don't think he would have continued down that road. Okay, I just okay, I just thought of a movie that has a great example of because you love someone so much, you're you're going to let it go. Um, a Thin Line Between Love and Hate with Martin Lawrence, um, Regina Hall, and uh, What's her name. Oh, I can't think of her I name. I forgot her name. But I didn't talk about Greenleaf, the uh, mom in Greenleaf. Mm -hmm. But um, Martin Lawrence's character. Like when he found out that Brandy, which was the crazy girlfriend, when he found out she was so crazy, he actually broke it off with uh, Regina Hall's character mm -hmm. because he loved her so much. You know, he was concerned about her safety and he knew that Brandy was crazy. Mm -hmm. And he basically like was like, no, like I'm nothing on this literally out of nowhere because they was cool just, you know, to save her. So, yes, it can be done, I think. I guess at what point do both parties realize that I love you so much? Yeah, exactly, to let you go. Because I think even outside of danger, like sometimes your life is just genuinely better when someone's not in it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that you never cared or you didn't love that person, but it's like we are so much better apart from each other. Mm -hmm. But I think it just comes down to somebody having to make the decision. As y'all mentioned, she did not... Okay, she loved her husband. Mm -hmm. She was in love with Bayou. Okay. I've heard of... I've heard of people loving who they are with while simultaneously being in love with someone else. Mm -hmm. But it was like time... In place and circumstance never lined up. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of a, a specific or a situation. I don't know this lady, but I've heard her say it. <laughs> it was a YouTube review that I was watching, and while she was reviewing the show, she actually told her own story, and she was saying that there is someone who there's a man that she is in love with, but he's married now, and at the time she was married too, mm. but it was like every time that they would reconnect or like see each other again. It was like the circumstances were always different. So they couldn't, they weren't actually ever able to be together. So is it possible? Not is it possible, but like what do y'all think about people who like you love someone? Can you love someone and be with them? Because here's the thing. And be in love with somebody else. My man is still in, in love, love with, with somebody because of circumstance. No. You better wait for them circumstances to clean up. Exactly. Don't, don't, don't marry me. Uh-uh. No. I'm not. Don't get me and, and is that, is that, <laughs> If I'm in love is that with a man. It is. Obviously. Obviously. I, yeah. Because <laughs> they ain't done the work to get over that situation is what it sounds like. And if yeah. I'm going to. I can't see myself marrying someone that I'm not in love with. Okay. But, but listen. But listen. Can you. Can you. Move on. With someone. You're gonna have to. Well, listen, you may feel like you are in love with until the actual love of your life, like, 
comes back. Because nice. not me in a world. Oh, Lord. Listen, the, the lady who nah. said, who was reviewing the show, she said that that's something that she will always have to live with is that she just feels like that man was the love of her life, but she knows that she could never be with him. And she's, and, and. Is she so wrong? Then, I think it's possible, but I'm going to be mad. <laughs> Listen, and my man, like, I love you, but. I'm and I'm just thinking with- about, like, the hopeless romantic that I am. If, once, if I'm in love with somebody and then, like, I become in love with somebody else. I don't think about that person no more. I was going to say, because I also think we can train ourselves to just be like, no. Let that go. That's what I'm saying. Do you think it's like possible? What's force? To train yourself to not be in love with somebody. Then I'm going to force myself to do that. Like, if I I know for a fact we're not supposed to be in each other's lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not about to be dwelling. No. So that's just doing the the work. Yeah, do the work. Because when the thoughts come, oh, the devil is a lie. Especially if you got you a good, if I got me a good girl. And you know you in love with him. Like, that's, that's the thing. I don't, I think that you need to do the work to let go. Because here's the thing. You bring back those emotions, right? Let's say for a second you thought, okay, well, well, maybe it can't work out. You go back to that situation and you just in the same circle. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to be there. And I think... But, but what if you are supposed to be with the other person? Well, Jesus, <laughs> no way. I don't think, exactly. I don't think that, that you're going to be involved with someone else that you're quote unquote in love with if you're supposed to be in that situation for real i don't think life always works like that yeah i, don't I think that. i think that's how Keep we single i think that's how Look, we i think that's how we will hope it works out but, but i don't think it always there are so many situations where people marry the wrong person or people marry someone who they generally love but then someone else comes up and it's like they may remember you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing too though because sometimes you remember in the past when really like all you got exactly. is your memory. You don't know what that person is present day. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. And that's, that's, and that's what I'm that's saying. That's the point because yeah, yeah. you don't know. Yeah. Especially because and you have to always think okay if I've changed and grown baby. this much oh. it could be still possible. And that's the thing. I'm going to take you the same. I'm probably going to And if we're talking like alright if the situation that we're in obviously but what if, if it ain't a 10 out of 10? If, it, if it's simply timing, I feel like that's different. But what you if the mean? situation that you in is a nine and a half to a 10 out of 10, and but you uh, other the other person is there too? You know, and like, I'm in love. Yeah, because do you think Leanne's situation was a 10 out of 10? No, it was. I think it was. Oh, wait, you mean prior to? Prior to. I think it was. You yeah, think she I was in love with that man. Oh, yeah. No, not the white man. By no, you. but yeah, but oh, I'm talking about. Yeah, um, I don't, but do you think it was a 10 out of 10 with, with no. the white man? Oh, no. Mm-mm. No. Do you think well, that the perspective just didn't change when she actually reconnected with Bayou? She was... Well, actually, she said I'll she was I'll say I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 because you're not who you are. Mm-hmm. You're literally she passing. There's no authenticity so, in that relationship. Yeah, and you're not... All. And you did it because your mom forced you into okay, it. Okay, that's right. So, right. it's almost like... It was in the negative. Let me make myself love <laughs> yeah, this Yeah, like, I have my choice. man is by you. <laughs> but I'm with this comfortable situation. No. But and like, that's the thing. I'm not going to be marrying to be comfortable. I'm not going to be marrying to do lifestyle. I need to be in love with I mean, I absolutely agree with that. Yeah, I but I still I think, think there is a possibility that there are people out there like that. But yeah. you have to train yourself to just be like, I'm, that's not it. That's not it for me. Mm-hmm. It just, it didn't, it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. And be okay with that. Let me tell you something. Let me find out the man of God that I'm with. Yeah, that's still in love. Very disheartening. With Listen. Sally and Susie. I don't yeah. have time. Don't play. Yeah. And I'm not going to play with you. I'm not going to play with you. Because mm-hmm. what can I, I can never be her. You can't. And, yeah. You cannot. And that, it just, I don't know. I've been in situations where I was still stuck on somebody and, and attempted to move on and could not. And I had to fix me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Before I could go. Cause it may be, it may work out. Cause but I, it can't yeah. work out because I'm still on this. That other person don't deserve that either. They yeah, don't deserve it. Gone. And the reality is, unless you are extremely good at doing it, they're going to know. Mm-hmm. They're going to know that, that, that in some present. way you're holding back or... Yep. They're gonna know. Yeah. Because I've done that. And somebody's like, Do you like. Are you good? I'm like, Yeah, I do. So this ain't gonna work. <laughs> right. Yeah. Thank, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. And you don't wanna be that person. <laughs> yeah. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> like, I know. Because you ain't gonna waste my time and ain't gonna waste your Yeah. Life. Now, this was when I was a teenager. Yeah. But, and he was a mess anyway. So he didn't care. He like, I'm still gonna be here. You know what I mean? He was a mess. But I was like, there. I don't like you. I like him. So. Well, I'll tell you right now, girl. Good <laughs> uh, so it can happen. It could be wrong. I get you. 
Yeah, it can definitely happen. Mm -hmm. But like you said, you have to do the work. Mm -hmm. And like you said, nobody else deserves that. Yeah. If you're going to be, especially if we're talking marriage, they need your full, they need you. Listen. Not, not just pieces of you that you have left over because you still. That makes me sick to my in. stomach knowing that yeah. I could, it ain't going to happen to me. I'm going to rebuke that. But just the fact that you can take something so serious as a marriage and say that you want to marry someone because you're in love with them and you're really not. Yeah, and y'all take that step that. and you got this person in the marriage thinking that they're everything's in love good. with you they, right. they've made life changes exactly y'all you. having children you know oh heavenly father because how you gonna talk to your kids mama was never really the one she wasn't really she didn't really love that's what i'm saying i no. think no matter how long you try to 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 like fake that and hide that and push through the truth is gonna find you mm -hmm. regardless yeah. And your real emotion is going to come out. You could be uh, 75. <laughs> right. You and Dorothy yeah. sit down for this. Yeah. Listen, okay. I got to tell you, so I'm doing to be You down in the Ponderosa. <laughs> like, uh, what's that show? Uh, nothing but fake. Because you ain't With Gabrielle <laughs> Union and, um, uh, that was on BET. And her parents. Mary Jane? Mary Jane. Her parents. She was, uh, her mom was still in love with that man from years ago. Oh, I do kind of remember mm. that. And she, they ended up separating because the husband was like, no, nah, like, yeah. what you mean you still, you still with this man? And they was married for what, 30, 40, 50 years. Like you said. Like you said, that person would never be that person. Yeah, never. So, I think sometimes... And mama went back to husband because she realized that situation really wasn't it. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, it can be all per perspective because sometimes it's just a matter of, like, opening up Pandora's box, right? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. we are naturally, most of us are naturally, um, I don't know, inquisitive, if you want to say. Like, we have a natural inclination to know what we don't know. Mm-hmm. And so because of that, what you don't know is always going to seem better than what you do know. Yeah. So. I have a question. Okay. So to take it a little bit step further, let's say, for example, we got all these divorces happening. We mm -hmm. just found out that Tia mm -hmm. and her husband, Corey, are divorcing. So do you think that growing apart in a marriage, which it seems like a lot of reasons why people get divorced nowadays growing apart in a marriage okay you take that vow that you're going to stick with this person through everything do you think that people who say that they've grown apart in a marriage were never really um committed fully to begin with or maybe in love to begin with because technically when you're married and you're in love with this person you're supposed to be sticking with them and there's going to be times where you may not feel you guys are on the same page mm -hmm. so when you divorce for reasons like that like, what what did you take the vow for? I guess is what I'm. Yeah. Like, well, I think I think the goal in marriage is to always um, go grow together. Mm -hmm. As cliche as it sounds, the person who you married is not the person who you are currently with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're going to change. Mm -hmm. Right. The things about them are going to change. There may be a part of their like characteristics are going to change. Like who you knew is not who you know. Mm -hmm. And so I think <laughs> it's from Love Jones when he says when people fall out of love or he says when people grow apart, what that really means is that they've exhausted the possibilities. He says something like that. Mm -hmm. I've always felt like for me, I always think that that's kind of true. When people yeah. grow apart, it's just that you've exhausted all of the possibilities. Maybe you've gotten to the point to where either you don't want to do the work anymore or you've done the work and you feel like nothing's coming out of it. That's scary. But what happens is if you're not willing, if each party is not willing to really roll up their sleeves and do actually that. get down in there, mm -hmm. because if you marry, if y'all married out there, you know, at some point, it's going to require you to roll your sleeves up all the way to your neck. <laughs> and like, hey, listen, and, do what, and do what you need to do. It is worth doing it. So I don't think that it means that you were never serious about your vows mm -hmm. or never in love. I just think that it could mean that you stopped doing the work or you don't feel like it's worth doing anymore. Yeah. And see, that's devastating I to me. 
That's so yeah, it's sad. I think it's sad and it can be scary. And it's possible, mm-hmm. especially if you look at their life specifically. They're both working, they have family. So I can see how it can be like feel like you're growing apart. But like you said, if you're willing to do the work, then we just don't grow back together. How mm-hmm. do you just be married that long? Because some work has to be done. You know, yeah. they were married at least 15 years, I think. And, but, oh. And why ahead. do you not? And I guess. I mean, not to talk about them specifically, but what makes you no longer see the value and if that, you're tired yeah. of it or mm-hmm. you feel like there is no value? What makes you feel like that? Like there's no more value in this relationship? So, one, I think that also attributes to, again, people changing. Mm-hmm. Career shifts, you know, maybe someone's working more. Maybe so. I don't know. Every I mean, things literally yeah, happen. happen yeah. Life happens to people, and it sometimes doesn't just happen to us. Sometimes it happens to you as an as an individual. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I think sometimes that's what can cause people now the shift between us is not us shifting together. The shift is actually starting to cause like friction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So another love Jones reference. <laughs> Listen. Is when Nia was, she, she went back to her boyfriend and she was living with him in New York. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And they were talking and he was like, we've been together for all, well, X amount of years, all these years. And she was like, well, all we have is all these years. Yeah. I think sometimes mm-hmm. people look at the years invested as years to stay or reasons to stay. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it doesn't make sense to some people like, y'all been together for 25 years and then now, whatever. But sometimes years are just years. Yeah. And you never know how long someone's actually been enduring if in a sense or some somebody could be going through it for the 15 of the 20 and somebody could be going through it for just one year of the 20 and that's what i'm and it'd saying be enough yeah mm. exactly i mean i just think it's to each his own if, if a person just stops feeling like it's worth it it's just yeah, it you can can't, happen. You can't make nobody stay. You can't. Yeah. You can't make nobody love you. Mm-hmm. Oh Lord, listen. I just hope my husband, he is going to be yeah, yeah. madly in love, and I'm going to be madly in love, and we're gonna be in it together to win it. I don't think that's no the words. only thing that that is going to, in my opinion, make something work is y'all really being on the same page about where you want the relationship to go, and that the fact that y'all want that relationship to go with y'all being there together yeah uh and go ahead i was gonna say i've heard a pastor say one of the things that kind of bothers them about christian relationships and so many people getting divorced is like that option has always been on the table like from the start you've always had divorce as an out yeah but i think we shouldn't go into especially Mm -hmm. as christians i don't think we should go into a marriage like that especially when you know it's ordained from Mm -hmm. god that shouldn't even be an option we should always have the mindset of we're going to fight to try to work this out because i think it will happen mm-hmm. i think you will grow apart i think i think that may be inevitable exactly with you, with you growing you're with both you growing individuals in and but i think i think finding the beauty in figuring out how you guys can grow together as you grow as individuals mm-hmm. is very important and i think that's what makes marriage it's hard work, but it, it makes it worthwhile finding out how to continuously love each other through those moments. Yeah. I don't know, man. And yeah. I think one key thing, ladies, if y'all out there, make sure you find someone. And even fellas, too. Find someone who wants to learn you. Mm-hmm. I think that's key, can be key to longevity. Yeah, I say that because, again, <clears throat> we change as people. And if a person stops wanting to figure you out yes. and learn you as you transition, then I think the inevitable is for y'all to grow apart. Yeah. yeah. Because now I'm not invested in this. I'm not trying to learn who you are at this, uh, you know, point in your life. Then the relationship's going to fall apart. Yeah. So if you're out there and you're in a relationship... Or if you are looking for something to actually like consider or what's a key thing if you're going to date somebody and move towards marriage, make sure that person wants to actually learn you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that gives a little bit of staying power. There's other things that it take, but learning your spouse and the person you with yeah. gives Being a staying willing. power. Because yeah. they want to know you. They want to know everything about you yeah. as you grow. 
But listen, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let us know in the comments. I feel like we have 50 different conversations in here. So let us know what you feel about one of the 50. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, with uh, Jasmine Blues, with uh, growing apart, with um, being in love with one person while you're married to someone else or with someone else. Just let us know how you feel about it. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of ground to cover. We will see y'all in the next video. See y'all. Bye.